Yo, what it do, y'all? You see what it is, man. Mask and Cover podcast with our special guests in the house. Everybody want us to have beef with the shit that's popping off. This should stop podcast. Who I originally started with, my man Boston yeah. Craft Machine Gun Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Bah, bah. But you know it's Basket Cup Podcast, so Hollywood Skizzle's always in the building. You know Jim it, it's your boy. We back again. Um, special edition tonight. You know what I mean? We just I know you used to the, the structure tonight. We just letting it flow, letting it be real, what we all about, mask uncovered tonight. Ain't no show run, no nothing. You're gonna get it raw tonight. And we got our people's here tonight. So let's get it, cuzzo. And y'all see, definitely, man, we got those t-shirts. Merch. The merch is here, man. Yo, yo, start going out supporting the merch. Come on, you merch. Know, you see the mask uncovered, you see that it's just start. Y'all see this shit stop? So, y'all, go out there, man, get the merch, man. That's how you rep the city. There you go, you know what I'm saying? When y'all going on vacation, bring us on vacation with y'all. What? Yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Ye
her primary doctor left a note and told her like when she comes she has to stay. They sent us home because she wouldn't. She didn't dilate. Is that right? She didn't, didn't dilate. Uh, yeah. But uh, she was at three and she dilated at four, and she stayed at four for eight hours. So they said there's nothing going on. So you know what I'm saying nothing we can do. We can't. She's like, well, they just admit me, because I I I deliver quick. They was like, no, nah, no, nah, we can do. So they sent us home. We got back on evening traffic going up 138. No. And she having fucking labor pains. I, I shouldn't have listened, though, because they couldn't have made us leave. Right. But I left anyway, so. You better. I know. I told her. I'm like, we crazy. I was yelling at her all the way up. Like, what the fuck is we doing in traffic? And you about to have a baby going back home because you're uncomfortable. And but she ain't yeah. thinking, so, you know. So yeah, I'm uh, a calm I'm cold, cold yeah. defended on this shit. But yeah. I, I take yeah. her to the crib. Half an hour, she laying down. She go sit on the toilet. She like, oh, I'm not gonna make it. This is not, uh, you know, talking all that nervous shit. So my punk ass getting nervous. Like, what are you talking about? Like <laughs> losing this sweat and this shit. Uh, uh, and, and her mother was there, thank God. So I said, Mom, she about to have a baby now. So she came upstairs. I called the ambulance, and like 10 minutes later, my son was born. Wow. Right, right in the bathtub. She, I'm sorry. She jumped in the bathtub, uh, put the water, water on. I'm like, fuck is you doing? Water. Yeah, like, nigga, take the bath. What the fuck is what? But I, I guess, I don't know. What does that mean? Anybody know? That means water that water you need up. to um, sue their ass. I know, but what's the, left the fucking hospital what's the bath is going to be with me, but I don't know the, what the I know. women tell. It's a water birth. So water births are supposed to be very natural for the baby because they're in a sack in your in the womb. Thank you. So it's very natural. Oh, so. But if they um, chose so to do that, yeah, I agree with that if they chose to do that. Back. But if you discharge me because you think, oh, she'll be all right, but I know my body. That's that's what she's trying to tell him. You know what but I'm I, saying? what I'm saying is I didn't know exactly what she was doing when she got in the bathtub. That's all. I didn't say I didn't mean like we wanted a water birth. I just right. didn't know what she was doing. I was right. ignorant mm-hmm. to what she was doing. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. after the fact, well, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I get it. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so right. I'm saying right. is, man, right. women what are strong. Women is, are stronger than we think, and and I've learned it twice. She had it on the highway. My second son on the highway delivered the dude. On the highway and just delivered my third son in the bathtub by herself. Yeah, that reminds me. I'm not that strong. That's yeah. how babies were born. Yeah. Word of birth is cool, but um, I'm going to step on my soapbox and step off it real quick because this is y'all platform. But um, nah, it's our platform. It's medical systemic racism is a thing, right? Fact. So she said what she said. Right, and they did not take that into consideration. She knew her body. You know what I'm saying? There's been times where I've been to the hospital, and they will be like, "Oh, here's some Tylenol, um, extra strength Tylenol, girl." Yep. But I'm yep. having a straight up crisis. But a person that is not black, they will be like, "He is this meth heroin." You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> I'm just saying that they treat black women a different way when we are dealing with situations. But let hurting me, uh, or giving birth, and it's let me let me add this because it's saying, ironic that you, me and T yep. and Mac had a situation ourselves. Like, um, we already had our first. Uh, listen, <laughs> so me and my wife. Uh, she already had a C, all right, boom, so she know what that thing's like. So then when it came to my son, our second child, we rushed down to Boston Medical. Like, she like, listen, my water broke. So of course they're like, yeah, Boston okay, Medical. whatever, Boston Medical. Only for, for gunshot City. victims, listen, only for gunshot listen, victims. Listen, so listen, <laughs> of course they was like, yo. I was born Boston City Hospital. Listen, me too. let me tell you, they're like, yo, ship her up there to the old little cabinet. Mm-hmm. And um, let's put one of the janitors in there to fuck with her. So sure enough, he got the little ultrasound. So he's like, <laughs> yo, so he's like, so he's like, so, he's like, so the, yo, listen, listen, what happened. listen to what happened, though. She's in, this little, she's in this little, she's in this closet. Uh-huh. And then they got little, um, the janitor dude who just took some classes at, oh, okay. um, Thank you. at um, RCC or something. So he started rubbing a little uh, ultrasound thing. He's like, 
yo, like, what's wrong with you? Like, it don't look like your water broke, whatever. She's like, listen, this is my second child. I'm trying to tell you my water broke. He's like, nah, I'm trying to tell you, your water didn't break. Y'all go ahead and get up out of here. And as soon as he's saying that, here come my son popping out. Hmm. This dude starts backing up, like, in a hmm. frenzy. But Janitor? Whoever the fuck he was. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but all in all. <laughs> yo, yo, listen, yo, listen I'm trying to tell you, this dude... <laughs> He starts backing up like he ain't never seen nothing the likes like so he already missed the class of baby being born at RCC. So now the doctor, fortunately, a doctor happened to be walking in the room and he was on some mess like, yo, calm down, everybody calm down. The baby coming. Yeah. She delivered right there. Like here come low jack coming up out of there. So like she said, sometimes they don't take that word being born and they want to get Obviously. you in and out. Facts, man. Like, tell me. Yeah, right I know there, what you're man. saying. So you tell me. Yeah. Like, uh, and yeah. you have done it to know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Had the, notes. They had on, notes on, on that on shit. the way we going, fucking, um, as someone who's not the best insurance, they're going to have to recognize us when we come in. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a Like, that's what we shooting at. We shooting the way, you know what I'm saying? When we come in, we going to have the best. That's why we do what we do. We, yeah. You know what I'm we deserve it. And we need more of us to speak up on stuff like these, these type of topics. That's why we have these podcasts. You can't be on. I be telling people, I was telling my man that you can't be scared to speak up on the injustice. Like when you was moved upon wrong, like you have a right to speak on it. It don't matter if it's, like I always tell people like, yo, we look at these people in a different standard of life, like a doctor, a lawyer, Mm -hmm. but all that shit needs Mm -hmm. to be checked. They human. None of that shit is like they you human. just are who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like because a lawyer, you can pay a lawyer how much, uh, but if you don't know what's going on, why the fuck would he do some shit you don't know what's supposed to happen? You know what I'm saying? So I tell people that like, yo, we have to look at what we do and get the information on these things. You know what I'm saying? So when we do walk into these, all we know what we talking about. There's a lot of shit we don't. We go in them just like that. Blind. Yo, mm-hmm. take Blind. care of me. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. I'm at your mercy. I'm at your mercy. Yeah. Do, do, yeah. Do, yeah. Right. do with me as you will. Right. You're, you're the educated person. You're the person in position to take care of me. So do your job. Wow. Now, it's nothing wrong with that mentality in some aspects because obviously if I'm driving a car, I might not know the ins and outs of a car. So I take my shit to a dealership. Right. 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 But in all actuality, how the fuck am I supposed to study every aspect of a car so whenever I drive it up to, you know, a mechanic, I'm, I'm supposed to say, oh, it's the brakes this time, not the muffler. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So some stuff, but you know obviously, you, no, you but, don't know a mechanic going to take advantage of you. That's I, just what but, mechanic, but we all because we get money off of your lack of information. That's how correct. We all get money. Right, but it's it's still misleading. And, and we've, to, been, to tricked, actually, and we've been tricked like that for but centuries. It's the same but, right, right. why you call a plumber. I'm gonna tell you a price. The only reason he can tell you a price is you don't know how to do that, motherfucker. Right, but that's all. You know but but that's that's my point. It's like it, it could be misleading to say that we should be educated on all subjects at all times, right? So obviously, there's a reason why these people are in the position they are in. So it's so okay to, to trust these, these people in, in some it. situations, right? Right. 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 At, 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 yeah, but you you still so, have to have some knowledge, like. A, like not to stray away, but like a jailhouse lawyer is better than a, a regular lawyer because he's really like if your man's been studying, he's he's doing life. Yeah. That's all he do is study. He, right. He's law. He's out to get you out more than any white man or any other lawyer out there can 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 can, can put in the work for. But you so. have to think with a lawyer when you come to a lawyer, what makes him have your best interest? If you already don't have your best interest, that's what I'm saying. Knowing him, no, yeah, but I'm saying it's like you have to think a person can't have more than you than you. So with a lawyer, if you don't know what you came in his office talking about, then his job is to get you through to whatever you see. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a typical lawyer. But if you locked up and and your man been there thirty years and he done flipped six cases, I'm saying his best interest is you. Someone outside of you's best interest like is the money. money. But he so, know, because he know that because like he's in there with you, but that's what I'm saying. A lawyer, he's on the streets, he get money. I only know what you present to me. If you don't know how to, then how do I work with you? 
you know, I feel like a lot of shit with us is lack of knowledge. True. I feel anything anybody get over you is like true. Knowledge, you know what I'm saying? That's but, the only but, thing. Can I please say but, but, that but, but. Um, this has actually worked in my real life, right? When you go to the hospital or to the doctor and you say, I, I had a concussion, I'm going to put it out there. I had, I know I was concussed. Uh-huh. I fell down some stairs, whatever. This is true. This is yes, okay. Okay. for me. And she was like, oh, girl, you all right. <laughs> She didn't say that, but listen. Like, Pretty much you. get up. White bride, white bride, you all right? Put your hand on. I, I didn't know what she was going through. Yeah. And I was like, you all right, girl? But when you say, and you have the right to say. She was like, you need to come with a doctor, then you had a concussion. <laughs> Let me know when you're done. Let me know when you're done, because what I'm saying is, when they say, oh, give me this Tylenol, no, I have a concussion. And when you say, you, know, if you tell the provider. <laughs> if you tell a provider, you know what? You're refusing to treat me. They will change their mm-hmm. stance quickly. And I'm only saying it as me, but anyone can say, you know what? You're refusing to treat me. Put it in my, um, what's the word? Chart. Put it in my chart Five. that you're refusing to treat me. Yo, they will chart. change. No, but yo, no. All she right. feels some type of way on this one. No, no. I'm saying, go well, to the doctor sometime. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> go to the doctor sometime. What I'm saying is, when you, not, and, and that's your problem. Like, that's your problem. Oh, 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 if somebody oh, refuses to treat you, only this should stop. Fuck, yeah. you see Someone more of this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, this happens all the time when this shit stop, man. This is this shit stop. If someone refuses to treat you the out. way that you need to be treated, and you say, put it in my chart that you refuse to treat me, they will change their whole... True. Now, but, but in addition to all of that, right? Like, going back to what you guys were saying. New edition? Right? So, obviously, new edition, too. <laughs> Well, um, yo, 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 we always gotta, we always gotta understand, we, um, we, we gotta, we always gotta be understandable about what the fuck's going on in the world, right? Like, so, it's, you can't, if you're just typically always breaking bones and stuff like that, it's okay for you to sit up here and have ideas about you going to the hospital. Okay, if your car is a shit show and, like, you're always having problems with your car, it might behoove you to sit up here and be like, okay, this time it was the brakes or this... But typically in life, you put your life in experts' hands every day, all day, right? Like, you don't go and inspect gas. Like, when you go to a gas station, like, which gas station has the best ethanol versus ethanol, whatever. You know what I mean? So, what I'm saying is... Octane. Octane, whatever. Good point. But so, yeah, but all, all in all, we still, we rely on experts every day, all day. So, when you go to the hospital... Um, Oprah Winfrey got the new show coming out. Um, I think it's called The Color of Um The Pandemic or something like that. Oh, purple. <laughs> <Y'all crazy>. <laughs> <laughs> yo, no, no, yo, but it's about like, it's about this guy who um he brought his yo, 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 he brought his he brought his pot to the hospital to three or four different hospitals and they was like, yo, go home and take Tylenol. Mm-hmm. And this pops ended up passing mm-hmm. away from COVID. Mm-hmm. And they said they tested him after he died and said that he had COVID. Mm-hmm. So it's a show to watch, right? But typically, this is what they're saying, right? Typically, right? I know you thought that too. I was gonna let that ride, right? I was gonna let that ride, right? But yeah, like this, that's why this is stop. Like should have stop. You shouldn't have said this should stop. But either way, Master Cover Podcast, man, we on it. But um, 
Honestly, yo, I did want to say this. This is a blessing. We just threw on the tree. I'm right. just glad that the baby was born with no complications because it, it's very dangerous to have a baby at home without medical treatment available because say the biblical cord was wrapped around the baby's neck. So you know what I'm saying? There's so many things that could have went wrong. Yep. So I'm just glad that the baby was born with no problems Thank and you. issues and the mom was, you know, was Thank able you. to walk away from Thank you. Well, cheers to that. With yeah. Cheers to that. Yeah. With the, with the, Thank um, you. The Thank you, sis. Yeah. Cord being wrapped around the neck, you just don't unwrap the motherfucker. Like, it can choke the baby on the way out. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. it's stuck to the, it's still attached to the mother. And this being her second time, the whole she, once she, come out, right? No, nah, that comes out afterwards. You got that's like another so that's birth. Like the yeah, that's that like comes another after the baby comes after out. the baby right. and everything is yeah. done. That's when and the doctor sometimes will mash down on your belly to get, to that get that it out. out. Yep. It don't yeah, you seen the show. Right, right. 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 Cause Cause I haven't either. But no. you can go back and you, you know, I don't do that. You need to go back and watch that if you ask it. Like questions. you said, thank God. Like seriously, it definitely could have went wrong. We should have flushed it. <laughs> like, yeah. Brenda? But, um, yo, listen. <laughs> Brenda got a baby. Yo, but, um, like I said, this is different tonight. We just freestyling, man. Second episode. Y'all seen the first episode with, uh, first interview with Lil Sin last Lil week. Sin. So, yo, we my back. nigga Lil Sin. No, I was like, yo, I was Lil Sin, man. Time. My dude, man. I had a blast down there. Thank you to all the artists that came out, sat down. Um, what a lot of people got to understand is that those interviews was in the backstage at the concert. Some of those artists was just coming off the stage. Mm -hmm. So the sounding wasn't as beautiful as we would have liked. The um, was visual. Texas? Yeah, San Antonio, Texas, man. Thanks to Lil Sin for putting that together. <laughs> Yo, that was 210 Legends concert. Lil Sin, I appreciate you. Thank for um, doing the intro to our joint. So whenever y'all hear and see anything from Aspen Cover Podcast, that's Lil Sin. Lil Sin. Um, and also the beat is made by Beats by Who. Chavez, my dude, man. Chavez Hampton. Yo, listen, shout out to you for making that beat that's for right. us, man. Dogs, for real, man. Yeah. Beats by Who. Yo, check them out. And how was the, that? How was that like you being Lil back Sin? here trying to own? Um, catch some interviews from niggas coming off this stage? It was tough because obviously they just came from performance so they on a certain high and then a lot of them like you know you're working up you're practicing and then you want to come right off the stage and probably get to a drink or get right out or to the dance floor so um of course my man Lil Sin um Marcus yo shout out to you my bro um his manager whatever you was sending him to to me to sit down so a lot of those interviews are like you know five minutes long so I appreciate y'all sharing those videos, watching those videos, those interviews rather, but it was definitely a blessing just to be in the presence of that greatness after they ripped those shows, man. Go go check them out, man. Don't be modest, man. You you did a great interview, bro. Like full of energy. You better pull them out. Yeah, don't don't be modest, bro. You, you, you made out. it happen, man. You if if you listen to the interview. Out. Listen to my man JD, how he introduced people, how, how he brings up topics, mm -hmm. how he asks questions. Like he makes interviews too. Some some of those guys were new to this and, and he made them feel comfortable and because he's been doing it a little longer. So yeah, I appreciate the love, dude. man. But Don't like real talk, man, like I am nothing without a team, I'm nothing without, you know, people being um in front of us, but also more importantly, y'all subscribe and like to the channel. Um, that's what it's all about, and that's why you see the. What um, you going on? What's the name of when that happened? Where like, was you on vacation? You wasn't even like. No, nah, I went down there. I went down there to 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 actually promote this and and have this happen. So, you know, obviously there was yo King Kali. Like I wish I had got to sit down with him, but um, obviously he had just came off the stage with um. Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, he was on that tour, he opened up for them. Some people don't know he who got he it, is, he got out. Y'all got to Google him, man. Like, yo, he's one of San Antonio's finest. Um, you see Texas finest, Lady Lunatic, Southern Brad. You see all the interviews, man, on our radar, 94.5 or 94.09. But either way, check out all the interviews, man. Like, you, yeah, you know except Toby of Black, yo, listen, man, you was a great interview, man. I love sitting down with you, man. The energy, 
Nah, I said Toby a black man. This kid, man, he, he he's out of um, Louisiana. Been in Texas for some years, but great interview, man. It was it was a pleasure to sit down with you, man. So definitely. The point man. was that you are born and bred Boston, Mass, and you went to Texas and right. did Take what pause. you That's did. What That's what I meant. Take a pause. Did pause. what you did. From but Boston we got to go Texas. back to. Drink of the day. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We, we almost yeah. missed it, but um. Oh shit. Yeah, cause I hope you right catch me. Oh yeah, yeah. We could, yeah. Bring it right to you, closer to you. What happened? What we doing? Bring it to the table. I'll It'll catch you right there. Yeah, so, my man. This is what we known for. Hold on, let me get this cup. Oh, he's talking shit. <laughs> oh, like I said, this is why we original, unmasked. This is dope, That's dope? Fucking with him, you said he about to call you. Oh, I said, well, I didn't know where to come in. So, I said, he said, Brandon, go walk the fuck in. Oh, my God. All right. Let me go outside again. Oh, Here we go. Thank you, fam. But, nah, what I want to ask you was, um, what was, like, um, you, the hardest you adjusting to those, though? Hold on, y'all. Let me get this bank like, of the yeah, day. What we do? Justin, to that, like niggas is coming off stage, coming to you, you know, so mm-hmm. niggas don't have the energy to want to do a part, but you mm-hmm. still gotta ask the questions. It was tough. You know, it was tough. I'll put this on hold again. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, it was tough. Ahead. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, no, I, 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 I'll get to that in a minute. Let me let let me let um let's have the drink of the day. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. As you all know, uh-huh. drink of the day is what makes us in a, 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 a talk uh, topic of the day. Mm-hmm. These drinks are original. You've never heard them before. We make them every single Friday, a different drink. Sometimes we relax, maybe sip some Remy or whatever. Yeah. But right. all the drinks here are original. Mm-hmm. So tonight, this is what me and my man Fence came up with. This is what's supposed to be for the first episode, mm-hmm. but um, second episode. So officially, we call this one Coke and Weed. Coke and uh-huh. Weed, baby. What? You, you want me with this one? Like, you want to talk to him about it while I make it? Listen, <laughs> Everybody know, man. How you get down, man? Oh, Yo, listen. Right, hold on. Listen. How do we come up with the drink of the? We it's spontaneous, but um, oh, yeah, spontaneous. Okay. Oh, so it's just all shit you think of, yo. Yeah, we yeah. Put our heads our together mindset, and, and, and we taste yo, it. And coke and weed, right here, man. Listen, y'all see the coke, man. The yeah, rum, chocolate, like, like yo. Find out what you yeah. weekly drink. Yeah, yeah, and and, 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 and at the bottom, so right. y'all drink. That's right, cuz. Oh, and then we gonna start hitting them bartenders up. Like, listen, y'all need to play with this, I mean, man. Tell them what you playing on. What's the coke and weed? So why we call it? Why? Why we call it weed, coke and weed? Mm-hmm. The green is for the weed. That's the Remy. Okay. If I have Remy, it's nothing else yeah, but Remy. The for green bottle, baby. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I go halfway. That's with, the, with the cup. No, no, no. It's coke and weed. Yeah. 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 Coke, coke and weed. And the rum chowder. That's the white. That's the rum coke. Chata. Okay. Well, I'll get it. Yeah. Rum Come rum on. Chata. Everybody smile. Everybody graduated. Yeah. <laughs> At least from middle school. Uh, yeah, at least drink champs. At least, you know what I'm saying? We need to drink champs, but you know, we do something. All right. I need two cups. I two cups. No mix-up. No mix-up. No mix-up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. 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 let us that's all you need. Mm. And we just get y'all a street tree, too. Woo! Uh, listen. <laughs> they don't listen. They don't know it till they see it, baby. Yeah. Anybody? Oh, yeah. oh, oh shit. shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, listen. Like I told you. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so 
So listen. Like I told y'all, we spontaneous tonight. We got we got special guests in the building. Just came in. Just came in. Special I'm a special mess. But um yeah. Alright, so we won't do it like this right now, because obviously we go on low on time, but we definitely wanted to get everybody's input on this, man. Uh-huh. This right now, I know it's been a whole let us all relax, kick it, but we always end it with this. This is gonna be the mask on question, mask on covered topic of the day. Uh-huh. Boom. There we go. We're going to talk about Mother's Day, man. Like, oh, you heard Schizo just talk about him having a seed, what have you. Um, and what we really want to look at, man, is what's the importance of having, you know, that mother figure and also how hard is it for mothers to even have that birth? Because speaking on what you just said, how do you feel about that going to the mother's Right now with Mother's Day weekend coming up. Well, like I already said, shit, I, I just had a, a baby in the bathtub, a baby on the highway, and yeah. shit, so Damn. if, if, if it, and, and, and you, you know Damn. that, yeah, you jinxed me too. <laughs> anyway, y'all, my man yeah. just came in, yeah. so it's a little off, yeah. off the hook. He do this all the time, bro. He, he, he jumped in the ball, yeah. wherever I'm at, he come in like this. Uh, yeah. My man, y'all know him too, y'all know my man though. Wherever I'm at, he busts in just like this. That's just who he is. I, I do. I love you more. But like I said, like my, like I just said, my girl had the baby in the bathtub. Yeah, it's another one. Bathtub, uh, a baby in the car. Women are so much stronger than I thought. And with her, I learned that every year. Like man, I, I don't. I couldn't have done that. I couldn't have had the strong mind to be like the first baby we had in the car. Like I said, she. I'm on the highway driving, panicking. She's like, he's coming, he's coming. I'm like, what's coming? I'm swerving lanes and shit. I'm like, so we're going to go to Boston Medical because we was on the Mass Ave exit. I'm about to get off. So I'm like, we got to go to Boston Medical. I I didn't know the baby was already born at this point. So I'm like, we're going to go ahead. She's like, calm down, punk ass nigga. What, what she probably was saying. Like, nigga, you, you fucking all oh, frantic. Nigga, let's go, hosp- go to the hospital. He's already here. I'm like, what? Uh, <laughs> what I uh, nigga, she done had my baby, Lincoln. Love you, Lincoln. Love and a scarf baby. already in the passenger side of the scarf. Uh, uh, delivered the baby. So, She's like, let's just go to my our hospital. Beth is now, now, real quick. He's now, already in. Oh, now, now. Yo, no, no, I thought we did that. That now, shit's now. amazing. Let's do this. And we think we strong? Yo, let's do this. Let me ask you, let me let me let me ask these yeah. women because we we have a few women in the house, right? So I want to start with um AKA over here, um LD. Um, just do you as a female feel that y'all get the respect as a strong mother should? I don't know. Are you good with milk or all that? I feel like once upon a time, women. And mothers were respected, but in today's world, our society, not only has it drastically changed, but the lack of respect for women as a whole has changed. So I kind of feel like mothers are not recognized the way they used to be once upon a time. I'll speak specifically to the black culture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our culture has kind of gone down a sad mm-hmm. rabbit hole. Our music and our our role models or what used to be role models, like the role models of today are nothing like the role models of yesterday. And you figure out, for me, in my opinion, I'm young. I'm only 50. And with that being said, with that being said, I can see the difference like night and day. When I was coming up, Mother's Day was such a big to do. Like every kid was in the store looking for a Mother's Day card with a dollar and some change. <laughs> you know, every kid was at a Nubian Notion, oh, yeah, downtown yeah. Boston, Ooh. trying to 
Ooh. Ooh. They took a Mother's Day gift mm -hmm. with their little five dollars or with their allowance. But today, our kids are so entitled, it's almost like they're looking for a gift on Mother's Day. Mm. It's almost like the expectation is, all right, we're going to make her some eggs and some sausage if it's a two-parent home, and like, you good. So mom, what you cooking us for supper? I, I just kind of feel like, depending on the family background, the moral compass within that home, a mother is recognized and respected. Like how you're respecting and, and acknowledging your wife, right. or, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and acknowledging the fact that as years go, you grow and you learn to respect her, not only as a mother, but as a woman more and more. This is kind of a rare thing to hear now, but it does happen. But on our um, media outlets, we're not portraying that in our culture, is basically what I'm saying. Well, I know your history. Oh, let, 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 I was going to talk for long. I'm just saying oh, oh, oh. your history and what I said ties in. You just said newbie notion. Be out there, dollar twenty five. Like that's remember that. Newbie notion. Remember that. Looking for the cheapest card, but the best card. And then you're like, all right, sir, I'm twenty five cents short. Like, but I want to. And they will let us know. Come on, somebody. All right, how do you feel about how do you feel about deep. Mother's Day these days, T Mac? I mean, I definitely agree with what was just said about just the respect. First, you gotta respect a woman for being a woman, right? Before you can respect her as a mother. Right. So, I think unfortunately, because I'm not too many years far behind you, but I think there's been so, like you said, it's been so much change with, you know, there's been some dilution because growing up with two parents in the house. You know, there was a, a separation of roles for a mother and a father. Right. But I think unfortunately, because there's a lot of mothers that are single mothers that are raising children by themselves, kids don't necessarily see them as just their mother. They're the mother and the father. So they don't know how to separate the role of what a mother is. And so they probably need something. And I think that, you know, that really needs to be looked at. You know, you, you shouldn't, we shouldn't need a day. We should be respected and reverenced every day do. for everything that we do. Yeah. It's nice to have a day that's recognized where, you know, I mean, I shouldn't have to wait all year to get the car door open for me. I shouldn't have to wait that one day a year to get breakfast in bed. But you know, hold on, it should be, it should be you, every day. Hold on, one thing I don't like, like with me personally, speaking from a, a father point of view, I feel like the mother is always held in the right. The father is always like dispensable. The same shit, like mm -hmm. we don't get this shit all year round. On just you being a good dude, you being a good father. Mm -hmm. I don't think sometimes women separate the father from the the person they deal with. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of dudes that are maybe not a good boyfriend, but a good father. Mm -hmm. Maybe not be a good husband, a good father. Mm -hmm. And I don't think at all times the father gets that. You know, I was listening to, some, to somebody the other day. It's crazy how at every situation the father is just good for, yeah, fuck my father. Let me know what you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I had to interject. I had to interject. Because I actually didn't want you to go before um, Johnny went. Anyway, but secondly, you're talking all about the male. And I definitely want to stop you here. Like, I let, let Johnny speak first. And then, no, nah, because it's different. we're talking about the mothers, right? No, I know that. And I, I understand where he's coming from, from the father's side. Uh -huh. So, but I don't, that's not where I want to go right now. Let, let Johnny speak real quick, okay. just about the mother stuff. Okay. And then we could possibly oh, get into this one. Father, that'd be a father thing conversation. Like was going. Hey, but, but let, let's let Johnny, 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 let's let
motherfuckers be to the point to where it's like, yo, my mother never did nothing. My father was, and it's always where it's been, it was always something that can be replaced. Your father. There is no, but the thing we don't know, the thing we don't understand, there is no difference. The mother is just as important as the father. But we, we don't, don't disagree with that. But all I'm just saying is right now, that's how. No. But, but it gets treated that way, the same thing we were talking about. Father's Day present. What the fuck do we get for Father's Day? Right, but, but again, again nobody disagrees, disagrees with what you're saying. saying. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Nobody, nobody disagrees with what you're saying. saying. We're not talking, talking about Father right now. now. Let Johnny go. Let's talk about mothers right now. Man, we got skin tonight. Not that you say anything more. No, I know that, but I'm just saying. I was Right now, we're talking about mothers. That's what I'm saying. Go ahead, Johnny. Johnny's real quick. Johnny's a little. I'm talking about a single mother. It's always in mind. Okay, it's not even, female. it's really not that difficult. Mother's Day is for Mother's Day. Father's Day is for Father's Day, mm. right? Mm. Because my mother and father, it's not a secret. They were teenage parents. They were never together. I should have never been here, but I am, right? Thank God. And my mother was uh, my... My mother was my mother and my father was my father, right? And they never were together and they weren't shit. I, and they know that, right? They weren't shit. But I was brought up within a family, right? So when Mother's Day comes, happy Mother's Day, Mom. And that be Father's Day, Dad, because they both and their both family treated me the same way, the, the way that they should have treated me. Right. No, so care. why does it have to be a competition? No, it's not. But it was one of you was one of the few that grew up when I think you were for sure. playing the position. You had a. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, blessed yeah, to have that. You feel me? It's good that you I learned both of them, but there were so many people that just feel that they were there. Right. 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 You have to recognize grandmothers that are now put in yeah, position. Yeah, Come on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, you know, all right. because, you know, the mother <laughs> can't really care for the children. So grandmothers have been now put in position of being mothers. But they are raising their grandkids or sometimes even their great grandkids. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there used to be a time where their grandmother was respected. Mm -hmm. Like you would never hear it. You can be cursing all the way up until you get to where that grandmother is and, and mm -hmm. come to a complete stop. Mm -hmm. And be respectful. Just because she was a she was a grandmother. No matter what kind of grandmother she was, as a child, you saw her as a grandmother and you wouldn't say certain things. So it has changed. And I but think now grandma's are 25. It's hard to get that respect at 25. The one thing about our era I really feel was like, like I said, we was the last ever of people being scared of their parents. Mm. There's no more. Everybody in here. Like that was that last era. Scared of they. It didn't matter what the fuck your mother did. Or right. she said something, it was the law. Right. right. And that's what I'm right. saying. Right. Right. These kids now feel. Fact. My mom is my own girl. Fact. We have a lot of sisters. Right. That's what she said. That's what she said. Hold on, but it's not the kid's fault. It's not the child's fault that I think that you're my friend. Whose fault is it? When people, no, exactly. So when people be like, I can't stand these badass kids. You can't stand these badass kids. Because no, of the parents. It's, no. it's the parent. No, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. It's the parent. Let me say this right quick. I hear what you're saying, and I don't necessarily disagree with what you're saying, but I'm going to tell you from personal experience of knowing people who raise their kids like I raised my kid. And there are a lot of parents out there that did give their children not only the moral compass, but the discipline. But 
again, society in this generation, there are kids that are growing up now that are unrecognizable to their parents because that's not how their parents right. raised them. I agree. And I'm speaking, not, now my son, he's a good boy, but there are some moments where I'm like, wait a minute, is that my son? No, or is that this generation? But the thing with us, we going to catch the moments of, again, is that my kid? But your kid have the morals that they stand on. There's a lot of kids that stand on nothing. Fact. 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 Well, how about I? Like, there's a lot of kids that have, like, stumps in the road. They go through shit. But how about that's the same shit we have to think about. Kids is going to go through kid shit, uh, a whole line of like a year, two years and I'm listening to you. That's a kid. They won't think of a year of you don't know the answers. But that being your kid, they gonna at all phases of my son, that left hook, that left hook coming in. So when he bing, bing. <laughs> it's you have to move in how I move so the people that know you from me, they're gonna look at this is what you will stop. So when everything like I try to show them, you are representing me and your mother. Oh everything you got, it don't matter what, what are you are doing. No, no, but but it it do, 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 but how about when right, 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 right. I was Keep it short, y'all yeah. 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 the hood yeah. and yeah. brought up in the same way that a lot of you people have been brought up in, but I chose to go square, right? I'm the only girl. I have brothers that went straight up gangster. I'm talking about whatever you think gangster is, that's what they went. So how do you judge a parent on what they have uh, uh, brought into their children? Because I grew up in the same household. I just wanted to say real quickly that, you know, we also have to acknowledge the fact that we're talking about mothers and what a mother's position is supposed to be. Right. And that at a certain point, your parent has to consistently be your parent. There should never be a line that you cross to be your child's friend, possibly until they get to a certain age. Basically, when they're grown and have children of their own, you still get parent, but you're going to parent them differently because they're adult. Right. The problem of the disrespect and all of that comes when, as a parent, now your child sees you as their peer because you presented yourself as their peer. So now that level of respect that you're supposed to have as a mother is gone. And you can never go back to that. Right. It was just never going to happen. Well, that's why I'm asking you know, that. So, like, you know, yeah. me, I'm, no, never, I'm, I'm, I'm never friends with my kids. My kid could never be my friend. I am always going to be their father. But also, you're not a female. Let me talk to you. 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 It's the disconnect. The disconnect is parents are not choosing to be parents anymore. Somebody has to be the adult in the house. Somebody has to be the adult in the family. Somebody has to be the... I don't give a damn if your children are in their 50s and you're in your 70s. You still need to be the adult in the room. And I think that, sadly, today... I'm not going to say... I shouldn't say we... But some of us don't recognize our roles as the mother, per se, or as the father, per se, or as the adult, per se. And, when, and because I kind of feel like, and I could be wrong, but because I feel like we've lost that in translation and in our uh, uh, music and our media and our, in, in our society, and the way that we hone our culture into this down this rabbit hole, we lost that. And because we lost that, I think again to the initial point, that's why there is such a sad but obvious disconnect of regard, respect, not only for our mothers but for our women. 
go to daddy's house and give daddy his Rolex watch for Father's Day. Oh, I'm going to take it and put it right there on. How would that make you feel? Like, she, put, she, put, she, put, she put her father in the room. Let me see that. Now you look at the video. We just want to put out. Why do you want to come for me this late? No, no. Really scared. Really scared. Don't blame this nigga. I got him left. Don't blame this nigga. Let's get it. 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 Let's get